Hello everyone, today I will discuss how to create a simple network using Azure. So as you see here in the topology, we have a network, which is the VNet. And I created the IP 10.0.0.0 slash 16 in the VNet network. And then I created a two subnetworks under the VNet, which is the web server subnets and the terminal server subnets. The, term, the web server subnets has a two VMs inside, the web server 1 and the web server 2. And then in the terminal server subnet, it has a jump server and let's discuss what's the function of each of these devices I put. The web servers are the client facings, facing. Uh, it has a two web server for resiliency purposes. And we also have an NSG, which means that the network security group which also uh, serve as the firewall for our VM. In the firewall, uh, we can enable the inbound port, port 80 and 443 for the client to access the VM via web. And also, I enabled port 3389 for the jump server to access the VM for maintenance purposes. By the way, the jump server purpose is for the network admin for them to access the web server for any maintenance or management purposes. It also has a network security group which allows the outbound connection from our jump server to, to each of our web servers here. And also it has a dedicated static IP for the network admin. The load balancer purpose is to uh, load balance, of course, and also uh, it determines or it detects whether a VM suddenly shut down. It has a single public IP in which the two VMs are connected to this public IP. So when this web server is down, the client can access the web server through secondary, the VM2. With, with the same public IP. This can be done using the load balancer. So let's begin. Uh, before that, let's create our resource group. Because in our resource group, we can put it in here different devices that we will have for our network. So let's add And let's go to the my first network. And let's let's have it reside in East US. And then tab for our posting first network. Network. Okay, review and create validation pass. So let's proceed in creating the source code. So it's already created. You, we can go to our resource group and we can put it, it in here, the all devices in our network that we will create. So let's add first VNet. So we need VNet to have an IP for our whole network. This stands a virtual network. So we can put our virtual network in my first network resource group. And let's create it my first network. Or let's create cyber skill. Farm Cyber Skill Farm Network and 
next the IP address so I decided to just have 10.0.0.0/16 like the one that we were designed here and let's remove the default because and add subnet as we see here there's a two subnet the web server subnet and the terminal server terminal server subnets so let's add web servers so then that zero that zero that zero that zero slash twenty four okay so let's create let's add and also let's add the terminal server terminal server which is accessible from our network admin let's have a different subnet zero and that zero that one that zero slash twenty four let's add then next is the security well ddos protection and the firewall for our security but let's leave it, it right now network bug by the way tag is just for posting purposes so you can create a devices with same tags for for you to not be confused on the costing later on. So your deployment is underway. Deployment succeeded. So let's go to our resource group, and we can see here that the VNet already created the cyber school form and as vnet already created we can create our virtual machines so let's add and then let's put it in the my my first network resource group let's name it as web server one Availability zone for our resiliency. Let's have a two availability zone here and then Windows Server 2012 just for practice purposes. Let's have the name WC18031. and we can allow public inbound ports since this is a web server we can allow the port 80 and 443 and this allow the RDP so next wait we'll just review it Virtual machine region. Yeah. Next is the disk. Let's just have a standard SSD since this is just for practice. And then next networking. Uh, yeah. This must be inside the cyber skill form. And since this is a web server, we must use the subnet of web servers. This must not have a public IP. Because our public IP depends on the load balancer that we will set later on. So, leave it there. Okay, for three. So, next is the management. Wait. But, yeah. Management. We have a storage account that we will be using 
later on. Next, advanced tab. Next, just tab is up in a work. Okay, review and create. Final validation, then validation passed. And then create. So it's already initializing. While it is initializing, let's create our second web server. Let's create another virtual machine here. Let's add. my first network and then virtual machine web server 2 availability zone I just do and let's use windows server 2012 again Okay, let's go to public inbound ports and let's allow port 18 for 443. Next is the disk. Just have standard. Next. This must be for web server also for our second usable IP then no public IP since the public IP is as you see here the public IP is in the load balancer so none yes of course APN443 next is the management okay let's leave it here The same storage account. Okay. Next tab. Okay. Review and create. Let's create it and then we can create our third virtual machine. This is for our jump server for our network admin. Jump server. Jump server. Availability zone. Two. Then in the server twenty twelve. Okay. Put it here. And we can allow the RTP since this is for maintenance purposes. 
the management of our VM. Okay. Next is the disk. Can have standard SSD. Then the next, the networking. We can use the IP subnet for the terminal server and the same virtual network, cyberspace one. We have a public IP here, dedicated. Okay. So next. Same storage. Let's tab network. So let's review and create. It said here that the RDP is open to internet, but since we are the net the network admin. Well, it's the one who will access the jump server, it's open. Now that our deployment is complete, we can go to our resource group 